hello guys welcome to another video today we're going to be looking at hammer.js which is a simple minimalistic amazing javascript library that you should definitely know about and so what does hammer.js allow us to do it add it adds touch gestures to your web app literally you can add touch gestures to your web app so definitely when we use our computers we're using mouse our mouse to navigate around but that doesn't mean that your browser can support touch gestures and you can do those with your mouse as well so this library is going to allow you to do that even though most people are not used to gestures in the browser with your mouse but definitely it's something that's possible it's just that it's not common it's not used it's not the standard on which people have grown so they, they don't know about that so but definitely you can normalize that if you have different elements that may be way more functional with gestures like images for example if you want to cycle through images on your browser you can do that as well but definitely like i said people are just used to clicking so just go with what people are used to but it's just good to know that this library exists out there and so what does this library do you can install it quite easily using the minified um, gs file and that's it it allows you to, to have touch gestures you can carry things over throw them to the left throw them to the right and so on and so forth flick them around i mean do different things i'm double clicking i'm carrying i'm throwing i'm flipping and so on and so forth so it's quite easy it's quite nice so if you go ahead and continue oops yeah so it's an amazing library there's not really much to it like this the whole website you can't even scroll it's all about it so let's check out the documentation though so as you can see in the documentation you can easily install this with npm node packages and all so to use it you can just have to set the item or the element on which you want to use it set the the, the you can set i mean the how can i call it like the effect you want to have pinch rotate and so on and so forth and swipe pan definitely set the viewport on which you want it to be limited to and so on so the documentation is quite easy there's not much going on there you can check it out how to get started install the minified code and so on and so forth so there's not really much to it we're not going to go in there on it i just wanted to make you aware that something like this exists if you want to add gestures to your web app in one way or the other i don't know you might have some elements i don't really see too much how this is going to be applied on a, a browser but definitely it's always good to know that it's something that's out there and that you can make use of so definitely let me know if you, you you think of a scenario where you could use this on your browser and definitely let me know if you're going to make use of this as well so i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one